Hey guys, it's Rich Lai here, and in front of us is a 21 inch iMac, but as you can see, there's also a bit of extra goodies sat on top of it. This frame is called a Zora Mask, and what it's doing is it's adding a set of infrared sensors just on top of the iMac. There, we're not adding an extra sheet of glass here, so you can uh, stick your hand or even your head through it if you want to when the frame is off. Uh, the frame itself only requires a one USB connection and the cable is just over here. And uh, once you plug in, it takes around 15 seconds before it activates and therefore adding this touch into functionality. So as you can see, you can do the basic things like uh, you know, highlighting objects, you can double click on objects, just like that. It's just, just like you're using um, uh, ordinary, say, a Mac with a trackpad or even an iOS device. So as you can see, pinch to zooming works. You can do rotation. Whoa, that's gone a bit crazy. And so as you can see, it takes a bit of getting used to. You, you might get a bit frustrated, but that's the way of life. Um, there we go. You can also quit apps using this two-hand gesture, just like that going down. Now, how about we go into Safari and try something more funky? Okay, so say we've got several pages in our list of history. Uh, you can do a usual three finger forwards and backwards to go back. Okay. How about... The, okay, there we go. And you can again do pinch and zooming if you do it correctly. Mm. All right, there we go. Whoa, it's, a, it's, a bit, it's getting a bit temperamental for some reason. It's not a good demo, is it? All right, let's try. So scrolling works, but again, it's so sensitive that it thinks you're doing multiple things at the same time. And uh, this is obviously something that the company has to fine tune at some point. But the, the functions are there. There we go. And uh, let's see if we can minimize this window. There we go. So, well, there are several other gestures according to the manual, but many of those we haven't been able to perform. So, so we've done the two hand quitting app. We uh, let's say, let's see if we can do us swipe our hands up to display desktop. Or how about that? Nope. Come on. It just looks rather weird, uh, what we're doing right now. So this is meant to let us zoom in or out of uh, the screen. Obviously that's not working. How about the pinching? Pinch launch pad? Nope, nothing. Spreading that is meant to display desktop, but nothing. Uh, okay, this one definitely works. So swapping left or right with all five fingers will let you switch from uh, jump from one desktop to another if you do it at the right speed. That is uh, mission control going up. Oh, let's get out of here first. So this one doesn't work. We have, we've tried many many times already, but going down does take you to expose. Uh, three fingers up lets you maximize the window. So we've already done that. Um, Let's get out of there again. Come on, man. All right. Three fingers down to minimize the window. God, this thing is like a... All right, there we go. And uh, we've done forwards and backwards. And rotation. So yeah, the rest are the basics. Now, to be fair, the uh, company did tell us that most of the gestures were tested on Lion. So, Whereas we are using this on Mountain Lion, which might explain why some of the gestures aren't working. Either way, the firmware is upgradable through USB, so uh, and obviously the performance will be fine-tuned over time as well. Now, the hardware itself is available on Amazon.com for $200, US and you know, like we said, it's very straightforward, no hacking required. So if uh, you are desperate for touch functionality on your iMac, or if you just simply want to add a bit of... Uh, uh, a cool feature to show off then do check it out the Zorro mask